Hello, I've got a couple more things on the games of summer, one being a weird little bug. If you didn't know, you can get infinite XP tokens. Pretty interesting. The Marksman and Shooting Range Trials, number 3 and 5, both award you a 45 minute XP token for bronze. One's weapon XP, one's regular. But it turns out you can actually get those tokens every single time you get bronze. It isn't a one-time thing. Thanks, Master of Power, for letting me know about this. I totally didn't notice. I don't check my tokens. So if you want some, I'd say it's obviously worth your time to put a couple minutes into a trial for 45 minutes of double XP. You don't even need to quit the trial every time. Just get a bronze or better, and then on the screen at the end that shows your score, you can hit retry and run it again. Whenever you eventually quit, you should have however many tokens you earned. Although I would recommend, at first, just doing one or two and leaving to check that it's working, because who knows when this will get patched. I don't mind sharing this because it doesn't hurt anyone, and honestly, on one side, it seems like a crazy bug, but on the other, I'm not even going to do it personally, because what am I going to use XP for? XP in this game doesn't mean much with you getting capped every season, and weapon XP can be useful, but if you already have everything maxed, then it's just going to be for the three or four new guns per season, and there's already tons of double everything events every couple of weeks. If you have some time to play during those with some shoot the ship active, you can max a gun in a couple hours. Plus, I already have plenty of tokens from all the live stream promotions, the companion app, the battle pass, the Doritos code sharing bug thing at launch. Anyway, if you want some tokens, go grab some. It's not like they're going to ban people for literally just playing the trials. The shooting range is obviously the faster one to run through multiple times, but you just have to decide which type of token you want. And since they both only require bronze, neither one should be stressful to grind. Even the annoying marksman challenge, you'll need 3400 points, which means you just have to hit about 80% of the targets and you don't need any speed bonus whatsoever. Alright, that's the token bug. Now speaking of the Marksman Challenge, I wanted to show some more in-depth strategies for that. From what I can see, that's the one the most people are still having trouble with. And I'd say it was the worst guide I made. I gave very general advice, and lots of people said it helped them, but I should have at least talked about some good spots to pre-aim at the start of each wave. I originally didn't want to make an exact route for people to memorize, because I thought it wouldn't help much, since if your timing is just a bit different, then the collaterals wouldn't line up in the same way. But I think I should give some more specific strategies strategy for the people who want that. I'll talk to the path I used. The leaderboards finally updated, and apparently I'm right here with the Canadian silver medal. When I checked yesterday, I was fourth in the world with the Canadian gold, but good job other Canadian guy bringing us to the top. Cool. I never expected to be on a leaderboard for these things. Okay, in wave one, I'm 100% using the pistol for the speed, like I recommended last time. Some people called the Glock strat dumb, and that it doesn't even save time. I mean, that's obviously false, it fires way faster. If you can aim it, then of course it saves time, but it's up to you if it saves time for you. I say you may as well use the toughest strategy on wave one though, since you don't lose much restarting. And you can get yourself a nice 20 seconds here, 200 points, that's like getting you halfway to the 4400 you need for that gold. Because you get 4000 for just hitting every target, and you need 400 total bonus points from the time. So, I mount in the middle and pre-aim in the top left of this window, shooting as soon as the countdown hits zero, since that target is the farthest one that's moving. Then I go and hit the other single target in the top right, then back to the left side for a collat, then moving right for another collat, and ending with the final moving target. I call this path the Doctor's Signature. Now there are many ways to do the first wave. You could modify this to just go left to right, meaning you get the top right target later. That way the collaterals should be a bit easier since you can wait for them, you're not rushing around the screen. Also, I'm sure you could go right to left, pre-aim at the blue moving target first and hit the farther moving target at the end. You can mount in different places for different collateral lineups and that goes for every wave of this thing. So I'm gonna stop giving that disclaimer. I'm just gonna talk through the way I learned it. If you find other modifications work better for you, go for it. Now wave two, I'll show two methods I used. One is safer and easier, where you use the HDR for roughly 150 points. Two is the high risk, high reward, where you keep using the Glock for this wave for roughly 190 points. The choice is yours. The HDR route I used at first was to pre-aim the far right window for this collateral right away, and if you shoot as soon as the wave starts, wasting no time, then you can move to the middle here, getting between the two fast moving middle targets, and just hold down the trigger, because as soon as the HDR is ready to fire again, that's when these two should be lined up. After that, you can kind of relax. You have three single targets to take out that you can do in any order. There's the annoying blue one, the one moving in the far right hut, and the one in this top window. If you take out those three relatively quickly, then the final two should now be lined up to end with that collat. 
Now, based on your personal speed, maybe you should only take out two of those targets, then get the collat when they're lined up, and then finish with the last single target. You can make adjustments as needed. But that should be a pretty simple path to remember, since after those two collaterals right at the beginning, you're pretty free to take out whatever targets until the collat at the end. Now for the faster, higher risk pistol method for Wave 2. This starts by aiming in the top left of the wide middle window here, because just below that, the blue target will spawn. Gotta get that first, because you don't want to be glocking a blue target at this range. This one shot is where I reset a lot of my runs, because that target starts moving right away, and I missed a lot. But eventually I got better at it by improving my timing. You want to listen to the wave countdown and ideally shoot a split second before the wave starts, so that the bullet is already in the air when the targets come up. After that, there are the two other targets you can take out in that building by shooting in the top area of those windows to allow for a bit of bullet drop. Then you're going to the far right for a collateral that just lined up in the right window. Here's another shot I failed a lot. You have to get it just right, both in timing and position, to hit both of those instead of just one. Finally, you're left with a mess of targets kind of clumping up in the left side. I aim for the one in the far back window and try to line that up with some other target in front for a collat. Ideally, you clear those four with two bullets like I did there. You can also get a triple collat there and finish the last target, but that's still two shots. And that'll leave you with two bullets remaining in your pistol. But I actually never bothered to use that again. I guess I could have to improve my time even further. But because I didn't work those into my strategy later, it means if you have to spray a couple more shots to clean up at the end of wave two, you can do that and you'll be fine. I wasn't picky about wasting an extra second doing that. So that's wave two taken care of. You can remember that path with a, uh, well, never mind. I'd say wave two is where I messed up the most, because now it's on to the HDR, wave three. This wave could be improved, I have no doubt, but I'm gonna start with the target that pops out from the side of the door. Then there is a bit of a wait here for these two in the back to line up. Get those, then it's up to the right for that guy, and then back down to the middle for the fast-moving mid collat. Gotta be ready for that one. Then you've got two single targets to take out, the moving one in the far left, which don't be afraid to get that one with a shot through the wood if it's partially hiding when you get over there. Then there's also the blue boy in the far back middle. When those are gone, the final two should be lining up again for the window collat. I bet there's a better route out there, but that worked for me. I found it easy to remember this shape of the V and then swinging back to mid because after that it's two by themselves and then the final collat will present itself. Final wave, wave four. We are starting in the middle far back window for the collat right away there, then going down for the collat that will line up there. You can get those three as a triple, which I honestly should have tried for more, but here at the top is where the magic can happen or not. The red and the unpredictable blue can line up at the top or not. The blues are random and I hate them. So basically what I did was burn time in this section, picking off the three other alone targets in any order. Just waiting and watching to see if the top two would line up. And if not, I'd just take them both out and have a score in the 4620s. But if they did, that's an awesome time save, and it's what finally got me in the 60s. But that's record talk, not gold medal talk. That's 20 to 25 seconds higher than what you need for gold. But there's the run and the strategies I used for this trial after running it for a few hours. Final thoughts, I recommend at least getting really good at the first two waves, which is what'll normally happen anyway if you're getting a couple waves in and restarting a lot. But those first two waves, they're a little easier since things are closer, and if you get fast at those, they can really help carry you to gold, because you can nearly have the 400 bonus points you need, meaning you don't need to do that well in wave three and four. If you just get every target, that may be all you need. To repeat some stuff I said last time, the one true run killer is needing to reload the HDR mid-wave. So obviously reload between every single wave, you have 10 targets in wave 3 and 9 in wave 4. So you need at least 3 and then 2 collaterals in those waves to save bullets. Or, in an emergency, you could swap to the Glock to finish something off if you saved some ammo with that. Remember, there's no accuracy penalty, time is the only thing that matters. So I hope that extra info might help some people with that trial, since it sounds like the one people are still hating the most. Good luck with the medals, thanks for watching, I'll catch you next time.